We should expect to feel an aftershock or two after this. Do you feel it? That magnitude 5.1 quake hit right on the North Carolina-Virginia border Sunday morning. And as Meredith Stutz reports, people in the town of Sparta, right at the epicenter, are still in shock. Neighbor, like Christina Hempstead, shared the same shaken sentiment. I'm still in shock. I've never, ever, ever felt an earthquake. Each one, including Mayor Wes Brenninger, replays the moments. About 8.08 8 this morning, uh, laying in bed asleep. It was like a slow rumble, like a wave of rumbles coming. You could hear it from a distance before it hit. And it felt like one of those wave machines. Uh, just kind of lifts you up off the ground a little bit and then sets you right back down. On Sunday, crews worked to repair this road after the earthquake caused an underground water break and split the road open. Like you can just feel the energy. A feeling described like a roller coaster. Oh. It's terrifying. For River Brooks. Yeah. Wow. No, yeah, I mean, you, no control. You can't do nothing. Just run, I guess. The quake caught on camera at his family's salon until it was knocked off the shelf. Here at this food lion, food littered the aisles. Roger Wimmer felt it at his house, too. Just big windows, and they were all just shaking like this right here, and I just knew they was coming out. My car <laughs> was rocking back and forth, and the bikes were all moving. It was insane. Everything moving, you look around, stuff falling. It lasted probably, I would say, about 10 to 15 seconds. Seven-year-old Manuel Perez suffered the only known injury in the town when a glass picture frame fell on him. When it started shaking, it went in. Even so, he was excited to show off his Band-Aid. In a matter of seconds, a historic earthquake felt across the eastern half of the country struck this small town. Upset and confused. Uh, we've never been through anything like this. Each neighbor in Sparta now adds a natural disaster to their 2020 memories. The riots, the pandemic, now an earthquake. I think I'd like to get a T-shirt that says, I survived a 5.1 earthquake. <laughs> Yeah, it's all you got to do is kind of laugh about it. Keep in mind, we started the week with a hurricane, ended it with an earthquake. By the way, the one Sunday morning in Sparta, not the only one over the weekend, the U.S. Geological Survey said there were two smaller quakes which struck Saturday evening, kind of leading up to the uh, bigger one, so to speak.